It's Friday, it's the weekend, it's payday, it's a beautiful day. I'm going to a carnival with my family. And I'm in a great mood. You guys don't understand, or maybe you do. It's been the real struggle. I have not been able to get my eyebrows done. I've been buying Penny the cheap dollar, family dollar food. I haven't been able to get food for myself. I have been eating soup all week on these hot, hot days. And finally, I have a paycheck and I can get out of the struggle. Some of you guys aren't familiar with what the struggle is. Let me explain to you. Oh my God. Yes, I'm so excited. It's the weekend. I'm just so excited to be free. I'm so excited to have a check in the bank. And um, I've just been limited to staying in the house, struggling all week. So it's gonna be so nice um, to go to the carnival, get me a little bit of carnival food or whatever, and spend time with the family. So I'm gonna get going. So maybe we can get there before it gets completely dark. I'll talk to you later. Are you ready for the carnival? Hey, are you ready for the carnival? Hey, we ready for the carnival? Hey. Um, so it is Saturday and it is a little bit later than I wanted to wake up but then I had to charge my camera before starting my day because you know I'm doing this little vlog thingy I have errands to run all the errands that I've been wanting to do but you know as you guys know I was in the struggle but now that the struggle is over I can get all these things done and get myself together. Also, side note, 10 pounds down. I used to weigh 180 pounds when I first started these vlogs. Now I weigh 170, so 10 pounds down, 10 pounds down, a, 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 a. So, let's go run these errands. Run fast from a day job, running back to the way it was. Jump quick to a paycheck, Running back to the strip club, I'm never going back, never going back. I know you can't make me. Never going back, never going back. They never take me. Plus, I've been enough of petty dues, and I've heard enough of shitty dudes, and I've had a thing for dirty shoes since I was ten. I like dirty men. I like ooh, better day than yesterday. Ooh, gotta take it day by day. This is like the tripod that I first bought. Uh, this one is just too flimsy and I've had too many close calls with my camera almost falling and breaking. So I knew I needed had to, I had to get another one. Then I went to Target um, a couple weeks ago and I ended up getting this um, small X series. This one is really good and sturdy for when I'm walking around. But the one thing I don't like about this is when I am walking around, I want to be able to prop up my camera. And you can't do that with this because it doesn't have a stable bottom. It doesn't balance or anything like that. Well, I need to turn on my air conditioning. Hold on. Much better. I mean, you're going to have to hear this fan. I'm sorry. I know. But this is so I don't die. So, yeah. So then I just went to Best Buy and I got this. Uh, tripod. Let's see what it looks like, and if it doesn't work, I will be returning this. I think I'm gonna be good with this one. Oh yeah, this is nice. <clears throat> oh, also, I did get myself a new phone charger, and isn't this cool? It's like a little wraparound thingy by the USB. But let me tell you, pop sockets are life-changing. If you don't have a pop socket, go and get one, especially if you have an iPhone uh, Plus. It just changes your life having this. Look, life is so easy. I can just do anything. I can take selfies. I can do whatever I want. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, pop sockets. Life changes. 
Oh, also, while I'm on the, on the iTunes app on my phone, I just want to say that SZA and her Control album, just A+, plus, five stars. I'm all about this album. I'm obsessed with her. I love this song, Broken Clocks garden and 20 something i have been listening to broken clocks on repeat for probably the past week yeah probably the past week um, just good music you know i was i was in the need for some new music i mean i listened to wale i listened to kendrick and their two new albums but now i know both those albums inside now and, and i was ready for something more so yeah SZA, she's amazing i will talk to you guys when I get home. All I got is these broken clouds. I ain't got no time. Just burning the light. But still love, but still love. But still love, it's all still love. It's still love, it's still love. It's still love, it's still love. love, love. Two hours later. So Fatima just found this thing um, that's happening on Penn Avenue in Reading, and it's called Art on the Avenue. So we're about to go check it out, see what it's all about. I heard that there's not gonna just be art, but there's gonna be food and um, yeah, like music and all types of stuff, right, Tima? Yeah. Where'd you find out about it? It was online. Oh, online. Yeah, but we're pretty excited. Jibby, you excited? No. Yeah. Let's do this. vlog but before I do I just want to say something that's been on my heart I don't know this weekend was the weekend that it was announced uh, that Philandro uh, Philandro Castle there was no conviction uh, in his death and also this weekend you know me and my family went to two different community events in the area where we live, where I grew up, where this is a predominantly white area. And it's only just an hour outside of Philadelphia. With things like this, even when I was in um, the Pet Boys or whatever, getting my oil change and it was on the TV, people make such crazy comments around here just you know about black lives matter and about black people and things like that and then going to these different community events too where usually you know my family is the only black family or like one out of like three two or three black families families that are at the event i don't know it just i grew up in this area i grew up around mostly white people and everything like that and so i feel comfortable around white people even though I know not all of them feel comfortable around me and that just makes me so sad that the world is still this way that there's still racism that people are can be so ignorant and just so dumb and stupid and just have these views of people just because of their color the color of their skin and with all this happening and all this ignorance around me and stuff like that, this weekend I just felt super conscious of what's going on in the world and just very frustrated and upset about it. And 
I guess what I'm trying to say is, so this is now like one of like 20 plus cases now or even more in the history of the United States and the world where there's been no conviction. It's just crazy that we live in this day and time and still justice cannot be served. Trayvon Martin, Mike Brown, Sandra Bland, Eric Garner. It's like you may feel comfortable around white people but because they don't feel comfortable around you, your life is in danger. So it's out of your control as a black person. I'm not very vocal about it on social media, but at this point now, I think that I have to say something <sighs> going on. All the black lives that have been lost in this day and age over racial profiling. Uh, it's upsetting and it's ridiculous and it's coming from ignorance. I'm tired of it. And just, and it's gotten to the point where something needs to be done. Something should have been done. All of these, it's so many years and generations of people living with this fear of black people living with fear just because of the color of their skin and it shouldn't be that way at all. But yeah, that was just something I felt like I had to get off my chest, I had to say. And I hope you enjoyed the, the vlog. I'm sorry that I rant, but this is me. It is. I am who I am, you know? But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Stay